There is something about Ramona. Like, she kind of does that, like, remember in True Blood, when, like, the vampire, like, looks into your Oh, pocket. the glamoring. Glamoring, sorry, yes. glamoring. <laughs> I can make all this go away for you. <laughs> Hell, I'm... I feel like Ramona like glamorous people. <laughs> Leah, we gotta talk about The Real Housewives of New York. <laughs> we have to get into it. Okay. Your first season is coming to an end and I don't know if there has been a first season housewife who has been more welcomed by the Bravo community than you. Have you fully processed that? Um, no, yeah, of course. Like it's been so nice and it's so great because obviously like the show airing and the pandemic happening at the same time. I can't imagine if, what if like I, everyone hated me and they were like harassing me on social media. I would not be able to deal with that and the pandemic at the same time right now. I just wouldn't be able to. So God gives you only what you can handle. And honestly, I would not be able to handle that. Um, anyway, it's, it's so nice. It really, it's nice to have support. You've been such a breath of fresh air on the show and you've brought us so many things we haven't seen before, including our first confessional in a sweatshirt. <laughs> which I know it's your brand, so it's like free advertising, but I was like, this is a choice, Leah. <laughs> I know, I just was like, you know what? The Kardashians wear sweatshirts and they're confessionals. Why not try it out? I mean, I get it, they're the Kardashians and like, I get it, but still, I mean, why not? It was, it was a pandemic. But then I was like, all right, since I did the sweatshirt, let me go overboard with my red and yellow tie that I love unitard thing yes you you hit both ends of the, the spectrum I like there fashion risks i can't i can't help it then your the reunion fashions have been revealed and you gave us a look that um i'm sure ramona singer had some things to say about ramona i mean look ramona said she liked it but who knows i mean she saying to my face she liked it we'll see i mean i don't know if she was i think she was telling the truth i'm not sure well, how did the first reunion go? Was it everything you expected it to be? Nothing like you expected it to be? First of all, I need to say that the amount of work that I know went behind the scenes to put that reunion on in person was extraordinary and like unlike anything they've ever done before. And I'm so grateful for them that they did that because the fans are gonna be so happy. We were so happy. I was so happy because I can't even imagine doing my first reunion over Zoom. I mean, I had to do Watch What Happens Live over Zoom. I've had to do every single press interview. Everything has been over Zoom, you know? Um, so the fact that we got to do this reunion in person was just it was awesome. It was great to see the women, too, I have to tell you. It was good. Yeah, human interaction for the first time in a while. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> well, was it dramatic? What, how would you describe the day? Oh, my God. First of all, I don't think one person didn't shed a tear except Andy, I don't think he was crying, but everyone else definitely cried at one point or another, everyone. Um, great to see Tinsley, great to have her on and speak her truth, get get some things off her chest she had to get off her chest. And uh, the drama happened so quickly, like the fighting started ha happening, like before I even, like when it was just time for us to talk about what we were wearing, it already started. I'm like, this is crazy, like is this supposed <laughs> going on right now? <laughs> like, and they're all like, yes, yeah. it, is. <laughs> yeah, it is. So Tinsley made it in person. I was wondering if she was going to be calling in virtually or what, but she's there on the couch. Okay. Um, chairs, not couch. Chairs. Oh, separate. You had to be separated. So that'll be, it's It's not quite the reunion we know. Okay, right. Got it. But it didn't feel like we were far away. We, we were all six feet apart, um, but it felt like we were right next to each other. So. You know, maybe the six feet was probably good. <laughs> I think it was. Maybe, maybe people say. Like someone got up to like hug and it was like, no, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. You know? <laughs> so that part was like a little sad actually, but maybe it was better that no one could get into each other's faces and scream. <laughs> uh, will fans be happy to see the resolution with Tinsley? Is there resolution with Tinsley and kind of like the Dorinda of it all? No comment. I'm going to take your laugh as a no. <laughs> <laughs> anything. You gotta tune in, you gotta watch, you know. There's a lot of resolution though that does come, like I definitely left feeling like a lot of things were resolved. Some things weren't, but a lot of things were. What about you and Ramona? Ramona is a terrible person you and everybody really, knows it. Like she's a bitch, she doesn't support women, and she's phony. 
and she singles me out, and you're one of her best friends, and she treats you like shit. Well, because that's a Ramona. You know what? I, and I feel like I didn't even get to say this at the reunion, so I'm gonna say it now. Maybe I did, I don't know. But watching, in hindsight, I'm like, I actually let Ramona get away with so much. I mean, albeit it was my first season. I'm trying to navigate. I'm trying to be respectful. I'm trying to also be me. Um, so I feel like that's never gonna happen again. So you, if you could go back and do it again, you would have called Ramona on her stuff more. No, because I'm not gonna, I'm not like, I can't go back and I can't change it. And I was just being me, that was me. But watching it, I'm like, wow, okay. Now I feel a little bit different. Now I'm a little more used to it, I'm a little confident. Like I know all the women a lot better. I know Ramona a lot better. I won't be holding back as much, let's put it that way. So in terms of the, the, the you know, conflict with Ramona, I will say this. I'm a person that doesn't really hold grudges. I believe in forgiveness. I believe in atonement. I believe in owning up to my own stuff. And I'm all about the resolution. So we'll okay. see what happens. As the season has gone on, it seems like more and more of the cast is kind of over Ramona's antics. And then her behavior during the pandemic has only added to that feeling. So talk about that too. So does that all get addressed at the reunion? Okay. What do you make of Ramona kind of using the excuse that you two have a mother-daughter relationship and that's why she feels okay crossing boundaries, including talking about your mental health? Right. I don't, you know, I don't, just don't believe that. I think I was dealing with issues with my mom at the same time as dealing with issues with Ramona. I don't know. I mean, there is something about Ramona, like she kind of does that, like remember in True Blood, when the, cl the clamoring, is that what it's called? When like the vampire like looks into your- Oh, the glamoring. Glamoring, sorry, yes. glamoring. <laughs> now you can pull his mind into yours. Everything's gonna be okay. There's nothing to fear. I feel like Ramona like glamours people. <laughs> like I feel like she does glamoring. Like I'm not even kidding. Like. She just does. So it was hard to stay mad at her. I mean, even in Mexico, as you saw, I was like, all right, let's just move on. Like. I'm sorry I made you feel uncomfortable. I'm sorry I let my feelings or expectations affect everything. I just want to go forward with you. Okay. I really do. That's the best comparison. She goes into this head voice anytime she's like. Changes her voice. Yeah, when somebody confronts her about her behavior, she gets into this head voice and then she hugs the person and then she fake cries or actual cries to be determined. Only Ramona knows, only God knows. Um, and then they everything moves on. So I was like, this is I know. a pattern. So I get it now, I get it. She's one of a kind. She's a special, special human. What can I say? I feel like a lot of the fan conversation around the season has been like, maybe Ramona's time with the group has is over. Like maybe everyone is tired of her. Did, does it feel that way for you after the reunion or is there still space for Ramona? I don't think it feels that way. I can't really imagine it without her. You know, you're not like, just because she's not a good, like all, you know, people are saying she's not a good person or whatever, like that doesn't mean that she's not good for the show. We're this good. is true. There's, I think that's been an interesting discussion even like in kind of the social movement happening about holding reality stars accountable where it's like, well, a lot of reality stars aren't really on TV because they're moral compasses. Like right, the fact exactly. that they're not moral compasses is why they're on TV. It's so true. It's so true. And also if we're all the same, it will be boring, you know, like, of course you don't want to be, you know, I, also this is the other thing. It's like, Things that were acceptable 10 years ago where people thought were funny or whatever is changed. Right. And you can't expect someone to just know that without telling them first, you know? And you can't expect someone to be able to change overnight or at all, really. So it's complicated. Does Ramona now know the difference between All Lives Matter and Black Lives Matter? I think she does. Okay. She said she does. She said she was uneducated. I mean, I don't know if that's really an excuse because she says she travels the world. She says she's like this and that and worldly and cultured. And, you know, it's hard to know whether someone, because I, I do believe that some people say all lives matter and they really think with all the best intentions, they're saying something good. Right. You know, they are. They think they really are saying something good because in essence, of course, all lives do matter. But the whole point is like, black lives 
don't matter enough. So you can't say all lives matter right yet, you know? Right. Um, and, which I don't think, a lot of people don't know that. They just don't. Right. Yeah, it's until black lives are equal, we cannot say all lives matter. say that, exactly. Is the cameo scene around the world addressed at the reunion? I have a friend who wants to give you a little tea on why Ramona can't meet a man. <laughs> she during sex. Oh no, 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 no! <laughs> it is briefly, yeah. I don't think it's something she wanted to um, give too much airtime to. Okay. She tweeted an apology to you about bringing up your bipolar diagnosis. Have you gotten an actual apology from her, an in-person apology? Not exactly. I got a, uh, an in-person apology for going around the table and saying everyone raised amazing daughters, but she didn't mention my name. Oh, we had the best daughters. Sonia's daughter, my did. daughter, your yeah, daughter, Luann's daughter, you Elisa's daughter. Elisa's daughter. Elisa's We're very daughter's blessed. Amazing. Leah's daughter. Thank you. We're Not very my daughter. I don't know your daughter. Nah. That's disgusting. There's definitely, like, I got a few apologies at the reunion. I'll, tell, okay. I'll say that. How she does have the nickname the apologizer, so. Right, exactly. But she also was like, well, I don't want to keep apologizing. It's like, well, then don't say black to me, you know? I think something that became a little apparent when Tinsley left was there's, there's an age gap between you and the other ladies. Do you feel like as the show moves into a new season and the cast is definitely gonna, there's gonna be new people, like there just has to be. Do you think it needs to expand a little younger, maybe a little more diverse? Yeah, I mean, I think diversity across the board in terms of age, ethnicity, um, thought, you know, I mean, everything. Just, just diversity in general, that's interesting. Would your sister ever come and be a housewife? I don't know. I don't know if she would really want to do a full-time apple holder thing. You know, I, I don't know about that. I don't know if she'd be into that. Okay. And then like, I just can't help but think about Kim and Kyle and like the fights that they had and like... You stole my you, goddamn I'm house! Listen. Did you hear what you just said, Kim? Oh, are you out of your f***ing mind? You are so sick. But I love her. She's so, my sister's so freaking smart and so funny and so entertaining and young and hot and you know all that so like she would also be so great for it you know and people would enjoy her so much so that would really be up to her and bravo okay we'll put it out there i want to see it we've got only a handful of episodes left before the reunion what plays out before the end of the season that the fans should get excited about or scared for i know right um i think the season finale is something special something something special <laughs> something it's it's i think unlike anything that you've ever seen why i'm not saying why i can't say why <laughs> okay. this season a lot of the commentary this season has been that so much has been fueled by drinking and alcohol um correct me if i'm wrong but you returned to aa during the pandemic i returned to not drinking yes how did Why'd you come to that decision and that choice? So, um, I mean, honestly, I really just can't deal with hangovers. Can't do it, just cannot. Can't, I live almost a decade of my young adult life, or adult life, I guess, whatever, young adult. I'm still kind of young. Um, not drinking, you know? I'm obsessed with being productive to a fault sometimes, and like, it's very hard for me to be productive when I'm hungover. I love getting drunk. I can't even lie. I love it. It was fun doing it. I'm glad, I'm happy that it's now immortalized and on season 12 for all to enjoy. <laughs> but it's very hard for me to be productive, like when hungover and like also like nothing bad happened, but I was like, you know what? Something bad's possibly gonna happen. And like the stakes are high. It's not worth it. It's just not worth it. And you know, I stopped and I was like, you know what, I, I was like, let me try stopping for a bit and see how I like it. And I just, I did, you know, I'm just much more used to living my life without alcohol in it. Are you saying you're done uh, with drinking for good? I would say I'm pretty committed. Yeah. You know, I was, hadn't drank in so long and I was testing things out. It just so happened that like, it was a few months before I, someone reached out about doing this. And it, that all gets addressed at the reunion too, you know? All right, well, you're entertaining with or without alcohol. 
you yep. bring it all 